Hippocratic Oath, Wikipedia Audio The Hippocratic Oath is an oath historically taken by physicians. It is one of the most widely known of Greek medical texts. In its original form, it requires a new physician to swear, by a number of healing gods, to uphold specific ethical standards. The oath is the earliest expression of medical ethics in the Western world, establishing several principles of medical ethics which remain of paramount significance today. These include the principles of medical confidentiality and non-maleficence. Although the ancient text is only of historic and symbolic value, swearing a modified form of the oath remains a rite of passage for medical graduates in many countries. Hippocrates is often called the father of medicine in Western culture. The original oath was written in Ionic Greek between the 3rd and 5th centuries BC. It is usually included in the Hippocratic Corpus. This is the earliest surviving version of the Hippocratic Oath, in Greek and then followed by the English translation. Text of the Oath A one half I one fourth I one half I I one fourth I superscript one a one fourth I euro I o e i i i per thousand I one half I plus or minus a one fourth degree I i i a one half I one half I degree I plus or minus a one half a one fourth degree I i i euro I superscript one a one half I one half I degree I plus or minus a one half a one half trademark I superscript three i i i plus or minus I one half I degree I plus or minus a one half I i plus or minus I one half I i degree I I superscript one I plus or minus I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I I I A one half degree I I Euro I I one half I I plus or minus I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I Euro I plus or minus I A one fourth I I I plus or minus I I Euro I I superscript one I I I one fourth I I one half I I a one fourth I euro I superscript one I I I I I plus or minus I euro I I superscript one I registered trademark I superscript one I one half I degree I plus or minus I A one half degree I I I one half I plus or minus I one fourth I superscript one I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I degree I I superscript one I one half A one fourth I one fourth A one half I one half A one half I I degree I I one half I I O E I one half I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I superscript three I superscript three I I plus or minus I A one half I one half I I registered trademark I one half I I a one fourth I superscript three I registered trademark I plus or minus I superscript one I one fourth A one half superscript two I one half I A one half I one half I I superscript one I I I three fourth I plus or minus I one half I I I one fourth I I A one half I one half I I I I one half I I one half I I plus or minus I I I I one half A one fourth plus or minus I superscript three I I one half I I A superscript one I one half A one fourth I one fourth I A I I degree I plus or minus A one half I superscript two I I I I degree I I superscript one I one half I plus or minus I superscript one I degree I plus or minus A one half I I I A I one half I I I I I I I one half I I superscript one I one fourth I I I I I superscript one I one half I Euro I I superscript one I registered trademark I plus or minus I superscript one I degree I plus or minus A one half I superscript three I I one half I I I A one half A one fourth I three fourth I plus or minus A one half I I A A one fourth Euro I I I I I A I A one fourth I one half A one fourth I Euro I superscript one I degree I I superscript one I one half I A I one half A one fourth I I I superscript one I degree I plus or minus A one half I I superscript one I I I three fourth I I superscript one I one half I A one half I one half I I I I one half I I one half I I plus or minus I I I I one half a one fourth cent I one half I I I I I I per thousand superscript one I one fourth I plus or minus I one half I I I one half I I superscript one I one half. 
A 1 4th I 1 half I I I 1 4th I superscript 1 I A I degree I plus or minus A 1 half I superscript 3 I superscript 3 I I plus or minus I A I I euro I plus or minus I I plus or minus I superscript 3 I superscript 3 I I I I I I I I degree I plus or minus A 1 half A 1 fourth euro I degree I I I registered trademark superscript 1 I I I degree I plus or minus A 1 half I A I I I I I euro I I A 1 fourth I euro I I I 1 fourth I plus or minus I I registered trademark superscript 1 I I I 1 fourth I I I I I superscript 1 I 1 half I euro I I superscript 1 I registered trademark I plus or minus I superscript 1 I a 1 fourth plus or minus I a I I I a 1 fourth I 1 fourth I a I I degree I plus or minus a 1 half I I a I I I a a 1 fourth I 1 fourth a 1 half superscript 2 I I superscript 1 I I I 3 fourth I plus or minus I 1 half I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I one fourth I plus or minus I I I A superscript one I superscript three I superscript three I I superscript three I I plus or minus I one fourth I one fourth I I one half I I superscript one I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half A one half I I degree I superscript one one fourth I I one half I I superscript one I I one half I O E I one fourth A superscript three A one fourth degree I I I I superscript one I degree A a 1 fourth I I A superscript 3 I A 1 half superscript 2 I A 1 half I I I 1 half I I I superscript 1 I plus or minus I superscript 1 I I registered trademark I 1 fourth I plus or minus I I I I I registered trademark I 1 fourth I plus or minus I superscript 1 A 1 fourth I euro A 3 fourth 1 half A 1 half I I I I I A I degree I plus or minus I 1 fourth I 1 half I O E I 1 half I I per thousand I 1 half I degree I plus or minus I A 1 half degree I I I one half I plus or minus I one fourth I superscript one I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I degree I I superscript one I one half A one fourth I one fourth I registered trademark I one half A one fourth I euro A one half I I I I registered trademark I superscript one I A one half superscript two I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth euro I I superscript one I degree I A I A one fourth I I three fourth I I superscript one I one half I A one half I per thousand I A one half superscript two I A one half I A one half superscript two I I I I one fourth I plus or minus I degree I I one half I A one half I I I one half A one half I plus or minus A one fourth degree I I I I A one half I I I plus or minus I one half I superscript one I one fourth I I one half I A one half I A one half superscript two A one half I I I superscript three I registered trademark I one fourth I plus or minus I superscript one I one fourth I superscript two I I I I I I one half I I I superscript one I registered trademark I one half I I a one half I one fourth I I I per thousand I I A one half superscript two I A one half I A one half superscript two I superscript three I I one half I plus or minus I superscript one I degree A one half I euro I A with acute one half I one half I I I O E I I superscript one I I one half I per thousand A one fourth I superscript three I one half A I I A one half superscript two I degree I plus or minus A one half A one half I per thousand I I I superscript one I plus or minus I I I I registered trademark per thousand I superscript two I I I one half I A one half I one half A one fourth I one fourth A one half I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I I I I one half I I one half I A one half I one half A one fourth I one fourth I registered trademark I one half I a one half I I I one fourth I I per thousand I a one half superscript two I a one half I a one half superscript two I one fourth a one half I one half I I superscript one I I superscript one a I one half I I plus or minus I
a one fourth I degree I I per thousand I I registered trademark per thousand I A one half superscript two A one fourth I I superscript three I I A superscript one I one half A one fourth Euro I one half I I I superscript one I Euro I I registered trademark I three fourth I superscript one I I I A I a one fourth I I A one fourth degree I degree I I plus or minus I I A one half superscript two A one half I degree plus or minus I A one fourth I one half A one fourth I per thousand A one fourth I I I I one fourth I plus or minus I superscript one A one fourth I Euro A three fourth one half A one half I I I I I A I degree I plus or minus I one fourth I one half I O E I one half I I per thousand I one half a one fourth I degree I A one half I A one fourth A one half one fourth I one half I Euro I I A one fourth Euro I I superscript one I degree I I I A one fourth I degree I I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I I I I I I I I A I I I A one fourth I I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth Euro I I I I I superscript one I per thousand I one half A one fourth I I superscript three I per thousand I one half A one fourth I Euro I I I I superscript three I I one half I plus or minus I superscript one I degree I I I per thousand I one half per thousand I one fourth I I I per thousand I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth Euro I one half I I A I per thousand I one half A one fourth I I I I I I I per thousand I one half I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I I I I I per thousand I one half a one fourth I A three fourth one half A one fourth I one half A one fourth I one half I I I I plus or minus I Euro I I A A one fourth I I per thousand A one fourth cent A one fourth Euro I degree I I per thousand A one fourth cent I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth I one half I I I I I I plus or minus I Euro I I I I I degree I plus or minus I A one half degree I superscript two I I I one half A one fourth Euro I one half I I Euro I per thousand I one half A one fourth I one fourth A one half I I I registered trademark I Euro I I I A one fourth I degree I I plus or minus I I A I plus or minus I superscript one A one fourth I three fourth I per thousand superscript 1 i superscript 3 i registered trademark i 1 fourth i plus or minus i superscript 1 a 1 fourth i i i i i plus or minus a 1 fourth i superscript 3 i i i 1 fourth i i 1 half i i i a 1 fourth i 1 half i plus or minus i superscript 1 i a 1 half degree i i i superscript 1 i plus or minus a i i plus or minus i swear by apollo the healer by Asclepius, by Hygieia, by Panacea, and by all the gods and goddesses, making them my witnesses, that I will carry out, according to my ability and judgment, this oath and this indenture. Earliest Surviving Copy To hold my teacher in this art equal to my own parents, to make him partner in my livelihood, when he is in need of money to share mine with him to consider his family as my own brothers, and to teach them this art, if they want to learn it, without fee or indenture, to impart precept, oral instruction and all other instruction to my own sons, the sons of my teacher, and to indentured pupils who have taken the Physiciana Euro trademark S oath, but to nobody else. I will use treatment to help the sick according to my ability and judgment, but never with a view to injury and wrongdoing. Neither will I administer a poison to anybody when asked to do so, nor will I suggest such a course. Similarly I will not give to a woman a pessary to cause abortion. But I will keep pure and holy both my life and my art. I will not use the knife, not even, verily, on sufferers from stone but I will give place to such as are craftsmen therein. Into whatsoever houses I enter, I will enter to help the sick, and I will abstain from all intentional wrongdoing and harm, 
especially from abusing the bodies of man or woman, bond or free. And whatsoever I shall see or hear in the course of my profession, as well as outside my profession in my intercourse with men, if it be what should not be published abroad, I will never divulge, holding such things to be holy secrets. It is often said that the phrase first do no harm is a part of the Hippocratic Oath. The phrase as such does not appear in the oath, although the oath does contain Latin, Noximbro et maleficium propulsibo. The phrase primum non nocere is believed to date from the 17th century. Another equivalent phrase is found in Epidemics, Book I, of the Hippocratic School. Practice two things in your dealings with disease, either help or do not harm the patient. The exact phrase is believed to have originated with the 19th century surgeon Thomas Inman. The oath is arguably the best known text of the Hippocratic corpus, although most modern scholars do not attribute it to Hippocrates himself, estimating it to have been written in the 4th or 5th century BC. Alternatively, classical scholar Ludwig Edelstein proposed that the oath was written by the Pythagoreans, an idea that others questioned for lack of evidence for a school of Pythagorean medicine. Its general ethical principles are also found in other works of the corpus, the physician mentions the obligation to keep the holy things of medicine within the medical community. It also mentions the special position of the doctor with regard to his patients, especially women and girls. However, several aspects of the oath contradict patterns of practice established elsewhere in the corpus. Most notable is its ban on the use of the knife, even for small procedures such as lithotomy, even though other works in the corpus provide guidance on performing surgical procedures. Providing poisonous drugs would certainly have been viewed as immoral by contemporary physicians if it resulted in murder, however, the absolute ban described in the oath also forbids euthanasia. Several accounts of ancient physicians willingly assisting suicides have survived. Multiple explanations for the prohibition of euthanasia in the oath have been proposed, it is possible that not all physicians swore the oath or that the oath was seeking to prevent widely held concerns that physicians could be employed as political assassins. The oath's prohibition of abortion is also not found in contemporary medical texts. The Hippocratic text on the nature of the child contains a description of an abortion, without any implication that it was morally wrong, and descriptions of abortifacient medications are numerous in the ancient medical literature. While many Christian versions of the Hippocratic Oath, particularly from the Middle Ages, explicitly prohibited abortion, the prohibition is often omitted from many oaths taken in U.S. medical schools today, though it remains controversial. Scribonius Largus was adamant in 43 AD that it preclude abortion. First do no harm. Context and Interpretation as with Scribonius Largus, there seemed to be no question to Sorinus that the Hippocratic Oath prohibits abortion, although apparently not all doctors adhered to it strictly in his time. According to Sorinus' 1st or 2nd century AD work Gynecology, one party of medical practitioners banished all abortives as required by the Hippocratic Oath the other part a euro to which he belonged a euro was willing to prescribe abortions, but only for the sake of the mother's health. Modern Versions and Relevance Breaking the Hippocratic Oath The oath stands out among comparable ancient texts on medical ethics and professionalism through its heavily religious tone a factor which makes attributing its authorship to Hippocrates particularly difficult. Phrases such as but I will keep pure and holy both my life and my art suggest a deep, almost monastic devotion to the art of medicine. 
He who keeps to the oath is promised reputation among all men for my life and for my art. This contrasts heavily with Galenic writings on professional ethics, which employ a far more pragmatic approach, where good practice is defined as effective practice, without reference to deities. The oath's importance among the medical community is nonetheless attested by its appearance on the tombstones of physicians, and by the 4th century AD it had come to stand for the medical profession. The oath continued to be in use in the Byzantine Christian world with its references to pagan deities replaced by a Christian preamble, as in the 12th century manuscript pictured in the shape of a cross. The Hippocratic Oath has been superseded as a document of professional ethics by more extensive, regularly updated ethical codes issued by national medical associations, such as the AMA Code of Medical Ethics, and the British General Medical Council's Good Medical Practice. These documents provide a comprehensive overview of the obligations and professional behavior of a doctor to their patients and wider society. Doctors who violate these codes may be subjected to disciplinary proceedings, including the loss of their license to practice medicine. Nonetheless, the length of these documents has made their distillations into shorter oaths an attractive proposition. In light of this fact, several updates to the oath have been offered in modern times, some facetious. The oath has been modified numerous times. In the United States, the majority of osteopathic medical schools use the osteopathic oath in place of or in addition to the Hippocratic Oath. The osteopathic oath was first used in 1938, and the current version has been in use since 1954. One of the most significant revisions was first drafted in 1948 by the World Medical Association, called the Declaration of Geneva. During the post-World War II and immediately after its foundation, the WMA showed concern over the state of medical ethics in general and over the world. The WMA took up the responsibility for setting ethical guidelines for the world's physicians. It noted that in those years the custom of medical schools to administer an oath to its doctors upon graduation or receiving a license to practice medicine had fallen into disuse or become a mere formality. In Germany during the Third Reich, medical students did not take the Hippocratic Oath, although they knew the ethic of nil no sere euro do no harm. In the 1960s, the Hippocratic Oath was changed to require utmost respect for human life from its beginning, making it a more secular obligation, not to be taken in the presence of God or any gods, but before only other people. When the oath was rewritten in 1964 by Louis Lasagna, academic dean of the School of Medicine at Tufts University, the prayer was omitted and that version has been widely accepted and is still in use today by many U.S. medical schools. I swear to fulfill, to the best of my ability and judgment, this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk, and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply, for the benefit of the sick. All measures are required, avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given me to save a life, all thanks. But it may also be within my power to take a life, 
this awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not play at God. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart, a cancerous growth, but a sick human being, whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems, if I am to care adequately for the sick. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society, with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, those sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. In a 1989 survey of 126 U.S. medical schools, only three reported use of the original oath, while 33 used the Declaration of Geneva, 67 used a modified Hippocratic Oath, 4 used the Oath of Maimonides, 1 used a Covenant, 8 used another Oath, 1 used an Unknown Oath, and 2 did not use any kind of Oath. Seven medical schools did not reply to the survey. As of 1993, only 14% of medical oaths prohibited euthanasia, and only 8% prohibited abortion. In a 2000 survey of U.S. medical schools, all of the then extant medical schools administered some type of profession oath. Among schools of modern medicine, 62 of 122 used the Hippocratic Oath, or a modified version of it. The other 60 schools used the original or modified Declaration of Geneva, Oath of Maimonides, or an oath authored by students and or faculty. All 19 osteopathic schools used the osteopathic oath. In France, it is common for new medical graduates to sign a written oath. In 1995, Sir Joseph Rotblat, in his acceptance speech for the Nobel Peace Prize, suggested a Hippocratic Oath for scientists. There is no direct punishment for breaking the Hippocratic Oath, although an arguable equivalent in modern times is medical malpractice which carries a wide range of punishments, from legal action to civil penalties. In the United States, Several major judicial decisions have made reference to the classical Hippocratic Oath, either upholding or dismissing its bounds for medical ethics, Roe v. Wade, Washington v. Harper, Compassion in Dying v. State of Washington, and Thorburn v. Department of Corrections. In Antiquity the punishment for breaking the Hippocratic Oath could range from a penalty to losing the right to practice medicine.